Okay, let us discuss this problem. So this is related to finding the percentage or ratio of CO2 plus 2, CO2 for 2 minus. So we have to find molar ratio of CO2 plus and CO2 for 2 minus. So this is a solution of 0.2 gram of a compound containing CO2 plus and CO2 for 2 minus. So I have a compound. This compound contains CO2 plus and CO2 for 2 minus and the weight of the compound is 0 0.2 gram. That is given. Now question says Uh, on titration with 0.2 m km of 4 in the presence of acidic medium so I am doing titration so this compound is titrated so let us say let me write this side so if I do titration so this compound is titrated with km of 4 so we have km of 4 that will act as oxidizing agent and the question says medium is acidic so the medium is acidic are you getting so if I am Titrating with KMnO4 in acidic medium, everybody knows KMnO4 minus goes to MN2 plus. It requires 22.6 ml of the oxidant. So KMnO4 that is required, that is the oxidant, is 22.6 ml. So this is 22.6 so this is the mole of KMnO4 that is required in this case. Question also says the resulting solution is neutralized with Na2CO3. So I have resulting solution. So this is my resulting solution. This resulting solution is neutralized by Na2CO3. This means whatever the H plus is there. I have taken excess H plus that is neutralized by Na2CO3. So this solution, first I have this reaction with Na2CO3 that is neutralization we have done. And acidified with dilute acidic acid and treated with excess Ki. Now this solution is neutralized by Na2CO3 and then further it is treated by Ki, excess Ki. So I have taken excess Ki. And the solution is made acidic, very weak acid is added, that is dilute acidic acid, so that you can have solution that is not very acidic, it will be slightly acidic, and treated with excess Ki, that liberated iodine, so iodine gets liberated. So I have iodine that gets liberated. So question says iodine gets liberated requires, so this iodine that has been liberated requires, that is neutralized by 0.05 m, 0.05 n, Na2S2O3 solution. So this is required for complete reduction. Find out the molar ratio of CO2 plus and the volume of Na2S2O3 is 11.3 ml that is also given in the problem. So find out the ratio of CO2 plus to C2O4 2 minus in this compound. And also write down the reaction involved in this titration. So basically you have to find what is the ratio of CO2 plus so mole of CO2 plus we have to find and this divided by mole of so n means mole of C2O4 2 minus so this is the number that we have we are interested in so how we will proceed so let us see you have initially CO2 plus and now there is oxidizing agent now what this oxidizing agent will do so this will oxidize now CO2 plus, I know it generally CO2, CO, copper exists in CO plus and CO2 plus form. So there is a very less chance of that CO2 plus gets oxidized. So this means only C2O4 2 minus will get oxidized. In the first reaction, in this reaction only C2O4 2 minus will get oxidized. So I have first reaction that is C2O4 2 minus and that gets oxidized. So I can write 2CO2. 
So this is the balance reaction plus two electron. I think if you have attended the class, you can understand this reaction. Now in acidic medium, MnO4 minus will go to Mn2 plus. So MnO4 minus, and you can balance this equation. This will go to Mn2 plus plus 4H2O, and this side will have H plus, and this side will have five electron. I think all of you can do this one. Now, if you add these two, you will get the overall equation. So, what is the overall equation you will have in this case? So, let me use the next kind of another kind of pane. So, you will have two and five. So, let us multiply this equation by five. So, you will have five C two O four two minus. Here, you will have so five C two O four two minus. And then you will have. So you have to multiply this by five and this by two. So you will have two MnO4 minus. And more, next you will have this side. So I am not writing whatever we have this side. So I will be only interested in this side. So you see, now what is the mole of KmnO4? So KmnO4 required is 22.6 mL. What is the molarity of KmnO4? That should be given in the problem. So this says titration with 0.02 m KmnO4 in the presence of H2SO4. So concentration of KmnO4 is given. That is basically 0.02 m. So that is also given to you. So you see what is the mole of KmnO4 you have? So KmnO4 you will have 0.02 m. Into 22.6 milliliter, so this is millimole. So what is the mole of C2O42 minus? So two mole react with five mole. So this one mole will react with. So I can write mole of C2O42 minus. This will be equal to two react with five. So one react with five by two. So this much will react 0.02 into 22.6 millimole. So this is the millimole of C2O42 minus will have. Now let us see the next part. Now resulting solution gets neutralized, and resulting iodine. So iodine you are getting, that is required by the neutralized by this solution. So what will happen? We have here. So now I minus that will go to I two, so we will have oxidation of this. So iodine is basically this is the I oxidation of I minus. So there should be a space that gets reduced in this reaction. So resulting solution contains MnO four minus has gone into Mn two plus. And what do you have next? You have CO2 plus because CO2 plus has not changed, and we have CO2. CO2 basically gas, so this will be get liberated. So you have only two things: I mean, two plus and CO2 plus. Now, if you see in this case, CO2 plus is the only thing that gets reduced. So you have I minus that gets oxidized. And CO2 plus will get reduced in this case, so CO2 plus will get reduced in CO plus form, and this you have to remember. So slowly, slowly by practice you will remember this one. So in this reaction, CO2 plus gets reduced to CO plus. Now if you write, so I will have one electron this side. So now if I write balanced equation, you will have I have to multiply this by two, so two I minus. Plus CO2 plus that is multiplied by two, so I have to multiply this equation by two, and this side will have I2 plus 2 CO plus. I'm getting. Now the next reaction. So this is I2 reacting with Na2H2O3. In the class we have said many times this reaction. You have to remember the balanced reaction. If I2 react with Na2H2O3. And this gives 2 NaI plus Na2S4O6. So 
So if you remember this reaction, now you know uh, normality of NaTO2O3 in this reaction basically n factor of S2O3 is only 1. If you remember this one, so what is happening? S2O3 2 minus goes to S4O6 2 minus. So you will have 2 and this side will have 2. So you see 2 mole of S2O3 minus loses 2 mole of electron. So 1 mole will lose 1 mole of electron. So n factor for S2O3O minus is 1. So this means normality of S2O3 2 minus is same as molarity. So molarity is given to you 0 0.05 n. So this is same as normality. So this is same as 0 0.05 m molarity basically. Now I can add this 0 0.05 m here. So 0 0.05 m into 11.3 that is mole of Na2H2O3 so 0 0.05 into 11.3 so this is the molly mole of Na2H2O3 now we can calculate mole of iodine that is a 2 mole react with 1 mole so mole of iodine will be 1 by 2 are you getting or not so mole of iodine will have so 2 react with 1 so 1 will react so 1 by 2 times the same value 0 0.05 into 11.3 and this will be the millimole. Now if I know the mole of I2, so here I can calculate the mole of Cu2 plus because this is the 2 times. You see here, 1 mole react with 2 mole of Cu2 plus. So I can write this one. So let us use the next phase. So mole of Cu2 plus you will have mole of Cu2 plus that is 2 times so 2 into 1 by 2 I think all of you are able to understand this one 2 into 1 by 2 into 0 0.05 into 11.3 millimole are you getting so if you calculate this value so this is simply 0 0.05 into 11.3 millimole so this is millimole so what is the ratio of mole of CO2 plus mole of CO2 plus divided by mole of C2O4 2 minus so this time this is a simple 0 0.05 into 11.3 millimole so millimole gets cancelled out now mole of C2O4 2 minus we have already calculated if you see your copy so this is here so that is 5 by 2 into 0 0.02 into 22.6 so you will have 5 by 2 into 0 0.02 into 22.6 so this will be you will have this value calculation if you do so 2 goes up and this is so let me write 0 0.05 into 11.3 and this 2 to cancel so you will have simply 0 0.05 so this value is 0 0.05 into 22.6 so this is 1 by 2 so mole ratio is 1 by 2 So question also says write down the balanced reaction. So first part of the reaction we have already written that is this reaction. So this reaction we have already written C2O4 2 minus and this gives you amino 4 minus and then right side you can always write. Now the next reaction that is this one I minus 2 I2 and Cu2 plus 2 Cu plus basically Cu plus exists in Cu2 I2. So this reaction I can write again that the second reaction. I minus goes to I2 plus 2 electron and this time I have to multiply by 2 and then Cu2 plus that basically goes to Cu plus and this exists in form of Cu2 I2 are you getting or not so this exists in Cu2 I2 form so this means I have to multiply by 2 and then I have to add I2 minus so I have to add in this side so I have to add 2i minus this side because iodine minus is available in the solution now check for the charges so we will have 4 plus and 2 minus so this means 2 plus so i will have 2 plus this side so charges are balanced so let me check again now basically this side so this is i2 is in form of i minus so you will have 2 minus and 2 plus 0 so this side will 4 plus plus 2 minus so I have to add 2 electron because Cu2I2 in this case copper is a plus 1 and iodine is a minus 1 so 
if I add these two reactions I will have 2Cu2 plus plus 4I minus and this will give you I2 plus CO2I2. So this is the overall reaction you will have. And the third reaction we have already written in a 2S2O3 plus I2 that will give you an 2S4O6 plus NaI, 2 NaI. So this is a quite good problem. So one important point you have in the first case only C2O4 2 minus gets oxidized and the next part of the reaction only Cu2 plus gets uh, basically in the first part yeah in the first part only C2O4 2 minus and the next part only Cu2 plus gets reduced into Cu2 Cu plus form because C2O4 2 minus is already oxidized so CO2 gas that has liberated so in solution I have only CO2 plus that gets reduced I mean 2 plus that does not get reduced by using Ki so slowly slowly we will learn all these concepts we'll discuss the next problem